Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Dum da dum dum da dum da dum da dum dum dum. So many people go abroad for their holidays now that it seems a bit old-fashioned to stay in England and go to the seaside. But millions still do. Loyal to the beaches of Britain, they brave uncertain weather to pursue the more traditional pleasures of paddling, picture postcards, pavilions, promenades and piers. Now, a pier, as everybody knows, is a kind of long platform that juts out into the sea. And this is the longest of the lot. This is the famous pier at South End, and it measures one mile, two furlongs, and 160 yards. But half the time, it stretches out across one mile, two furlongs, and 160 yards of mud. And that's one of the reasons why it's stopped being South End's proudest possession and become South End's longest problem. The workmen who started building the pier over 100 years ago were always labouring in mud but they tackled the problem with bowler-hatted determination, pausing only to have their photographs taken. The first pier was made of wood, and it was attacked by termites and fire, but steamers soon started arriving at the second pier, made of iron and steel. Boat trips from London were becoming all the rage. England was just discovering that the seaside was a splendid place to be beside, and piers were sprouting out all round the coast. At first, the construction at South End was just something to walk along to catch a boat, but it soon became a jolly jetty to be strolled along for the healthful pleasure of breathing the bracing sea air. Some daring ladies were even seen to stroll alone, but family parties were considered more respectable. Today, however, it's degenerated into an anachronistic nuisance that loses over £40,000 a year. Steamers no longer call at it, and its famous electric railway carries fewer and fewer passengers. When Mr Tom Fripp was appointed Director of Amenities a few months ago, the pier was part of his inheritance. Yes, it's losing about £40,000 a year at the moment, £45,000 a year at the moment, of which £30,000 is in pure maintenance costs of the superstructure. Have you any idea how you might stop this loss, even convert it into a profit? Yes, we have. Really, you have to go back to several years ago when the steamers came down the river and we had something between 12 and 15 steamers a day with about 6 million people on the pier. We now only get about a million people a year on the pier, so we've got to get the people back onto the pier. We can only do this by making the pier head in particular an attractive uh, proposition. We propose to do this really by one of two methods, either by getting commercial interests interested in the end of the pier or by developing it much more commercially ourselves. My wife's grandfather was the pier master here. I still think the pier could be made a going concern. I'm positive of it. Really positive that could be made a, going, a good going concern. Well, South End Pier is South End Pier. It's a London's playground. It's always been here and always be here. It never, it never go away. Well, there's only one pier in, like it in the world, isn't there? One and a quarter miles long. If the Americans want to buy it, they can't have it, can they? It belongs to us. So if the pier goes, the people go. I've been coming down here from the year to year, like we first started, somewhere between 1922 and 1924. In those days, it was one and nine to get down there and return. It's altered so much down there. All well, in the old times were the best ones. And more enjoyment then. Around about oh, 1914, and I was only a, a little one then. We used to enjoy ourselves to come on the pier, and we've got no steamboats here now. So the, the people don't gather on the pier like they used to. Well, I wouldn't miss it. The people who really worry about the pier are local businessmen and ratepayers. Here, Mr. Rags Matheson, past president of the South End Chamber of Trade. I, I feel that the present situation is pretty desperate. Uh, the uh, expenses are increasing year by year. 48,000 so far this year may very well be 78,000 pounds in five or 10 years time. Something has got to be done to try and improve on an amenity which we have got. Whatever's to become of the pier, for the present, it remains a very long and rather doubtful asset that's costing 30,000 pounds a year just to keep it in position. Nobody can really be certain what its future is going to be, but it may just be worth consulting Madame Lina. She tells fortunes at the end of the pier and must surely have some inkling. Do you see more people on it or less? More. Definitely more. And at the moment, they said there's no more ships will come in this pier, you know. 
that I still see ships coming in. Do you follow what I mean? They've uh, sort of said they've stopped the people coming in. Do you know what I mean? These boatloads of people. All the steamers that used to come here? Well, yes. Well, I don't know. I've never seen it. But I've got them and I've got this feeling they will come back here.